everybody, this is Stefania. Welcome to GreekPod101.com's Alphavito Made Easy, the fastest, easiest, and most fun way to learn the Greek alphabet, the Alphavito. In our previous lesson, we learned two letters, Alpha and Mi. Remember them? Good! In this lesson, we'll move on to two more letters, see how they are written, and what we can do with them. Our first letter this time is Taf. It's a consonant, and its sound is T. You may have heard it called Tau, which is its usual name in English. I'm sure its uppercase form will seem very familiar since it's the same as the English T. This is what Taf looks like in uppercase and lowercase. Taf. Taf. Here is Taf in uppercase. You should already be an expert at this shape. It is handwritten like this. Taf. And this is what the lowercase taf looks like when it's printed. I think it's easier than the lowercase t in English, since it's just an uppercase t, but smaller. When it is handwritten, the shape looks a little different, like this. Taf. Let's do it again. Here's the uppercase form. And here's the lowercase form. Did you get it? I'm sure you already knew how to write this, didn't you? Let's move on to our second letter for this lesson. This is a vowel that you may have heard called iota. In Greek, though, it is called iota, and it makes the sound e. Again, this will look very familiar since its appearance is the same as the English i. This is what the uppercase iota looks like. As I said before, it's exactly the same as the English i. It is handwritten like this. Yota. And this is what the lowercase yota looks like. Yota. Notice how the bottom curves slightly when it's handwritten. Let's do it again. Here's the uppercase form, and here's the lowercase form. All these were pretty easy, weren't they? Let's see what we can do with them. By themselves, taf and yota spell only one word in Greek, ti. Even though it's a very small word, it's very important and used all the time in Greek because it means what. For example, the first word in the question, ti ora ine, which means what time is it? Other examples of its use are ti fame, or what will we eat? This word is also used in ti which means how are you? So let's write this very important two-letter word, ti. Since these were super easy, let's try something using all four letters we know. Do you remember the first two? They were alpha and mi, right? Let's see them once again. And if we put these two together with taf and yota, what do we have? Mati, which means I. Easy, huh? And if we add another alpha in the end, we get matya, which is the plural of I, eyes. Let's write this together. Matya. Now it's time for Stefania's insights. As we said in our previous lesson, the best way to master the alfabeto, the Greek alphabet, is by writing it as much as you can. So please don't neglect this. Another great help would be to start trying to recognize the letters you've learned so far in Greek texts. If you can't find any text, you can always check out the transcripts on GreekPod101.com's advanced audio blog lessons. Don't worry if you can't understand the words yet, you will be able to practice recognizing the letters you're learning here. That's it for this lesson. Do you know how to write OK in Greek? Check our next lesson and see for yourselves. It won't be difficult. See you in the next Alphabeto Made Easy lesson. Yahara!